going? This is Otto with Biltwell. Today we're going to go over the install of the uh, throttle and the stock Harley Davidson controls. First thing you're going to want to do is make sure your throttle cables are loose. A lot of times you loosen them up with the wrench, 3 8 and then you can undo them by hand. That part's pretty simple. Next you're going to grab your Torx drivers and undo your stock pods. Get your pod disassembled, you can pull the top off. That's going to expose your throttle tube. So once you've got the uh, assembly, take it apart. Real gently, you're going to pull your throttle cables out of the stock throttle. So once you've uh, got your throttle cables out of your old throttle assembly, you're going to take that old one off and you're going to throw it away. Don't even take it to the swap meet, it's garbage. Before you take your new throttle tube and put it on there, now's a really good time to lube your throttle cables. I like to use Tri-Flow because it's what I've been using my whole life on bicycles and other things like this. So a little squirt inside the tubes where your cables run will help make this a real smooth assembly. Sometimes it's wise to take a piece of uh, sandpaper, run it over your bar, make sure it's clean of burrs. We're going to hit it with the little anti-seize and less is more right here. So just a little dab will do you. Slide the new tube over your handlebars and this is the part that sometimes can be uh, a bear and that's getting the old cables in the new tube assembly. Okay when you're installing your throttle cables, um, your pull cable is going to be the one that sits in the front of the throttle tube and the return is gonna be the one that sits in the rear of the throttle tube. So the rear will be closest to the rider if you're sitting on your seat. Uh, the throttle itself, the pole is gonna be sitting farther away from you in the front of the throttle tube. Front's in, back's in. You're gonna to wanna to make sure nothing's protruding from the, the throttle tube. Anything that is sticking up, it's gonna hang you up and it's not gonna allow the throttle to twist and turn freely. Now it's time to put your electronic pods back together. So if you're running your stock set of Harley Davidson hand controls, you're gonna always wanna purchase a set of bars that are dimpled. Dimples mean they just recessed to run your wires to your controls. If you don't have a dimpled set of bars, you can relieve the controls, but it's kind of a pain in the butt. It's usually a lot easier just to buy a set of bars that have been dimpled. All the built well bars come in dimpled and non-dimpled. If you're running stock controls, like I said, I would run the uh, dimpled set of bars. It's just a little relief cut into the bar that allows your wires to run up into your electronics. This part's important. You want to make sure you don't pinch any wires. And you also want to make sure you don't strip any of those bolts I talked about earlier. So we've got one little Torx up top. Once you've done that, you can tighten back up the throttle cables. And just run them up till you feel them get tight. So before you go out riding with your buddies, you're gonna to wanna to make sure uh, the throttle you just installed is not jamming up and it's not gonna get pinned as soon as you get out on the road. So the best way to do that is take your bike, Make sure it's a neutral course. Start it up. Power side to side. That shouldn't increase your idle or anything. That's how you know you did it right. A couple problems that our customer service guys hear about a lot is that the throttle assembly is not smooth. It's getting hung up on something. Usually it's a couple different things that can cause this. One is that when you install the throttle tube, 
people jam it too far into the housing. When you do that, the throttle tube itself is getting hung up on the inside on your bar. Um, you want to make sure it's kind of floating inside the throttle assembly, inside the, uh, the housing. That'll ensure proper uh, free range of motion. You also want to make sure your cables aren't in any way too short or routed improperly. A lot of times if a, if a cable is routed funny, it'll make it real hard to twist the throttle. Also what we see and hear about a lot is uh, installing the throttle tube on a set of powder coated bars. Sometimes just a little bit of powder coating will make sure it'll keep this thing from uh, running smoothly. What you're going to want to do when we talked about earlier is run some sandpaper over the bar and just get rid of a little bit of powder coating. Also if you're running a set of bars that are non-DOM tubing, sometimes there's little kinks in that bar and that's going to keep that throttle tube from, from working right. So you want to make sure those are sitting out and running on a smooth portion of the bar. Another problem that we run into sometimes if guys are narrowed their dimple bars a little too much and they try to slide the controls over the dimpled area, that's going to jam up your throttle assembly. So you want to make sure everything's sitting just outside that bend in that dimpled area. And the last thing that usually jams guys up is they're going to tighten down their, their housings too tight or just tighten one bolt all the way and the other bolt all the way. You're going to want to do them in a crisscross sequence. You know, tighten the top, tighten the bottom, tighten the top, tighten the bottom. That right there is going to make sure that your throttle works good and smooth and stays that way for a long time to come.